हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सिद्धेश कुमार उटके वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेसिक ह्यूमन एस्पिरेशंस लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट बेसिक एस्पिरेशंस ही बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स for the fulfillment of basic human aspirations the following contents will be discussed in this video lecture basic aspiration basic requirements for fulfillment of human aspirations basic aspiration what is meant by basic aspiration whatever we think whatever we do is with some end in mind we may be going to school to learn and be eligible for college we may be doing some engineering in order to get a job we may be working in a job for the salary we may be shopping with that salary like that there is a chain of thoughts and actions you can observe that when we achieve one of this we tend to move on to something else after school is completed we start preparing for entrance exams when we get admission into a college we become concerned about the assignments grades and the rank once that is done placements become our target like that we keep doing something which we consider to be important at a given point in time out of this which is our basic aspiration is it learning what is taught in school or getting that engineering degree or the job or the salary from the job or the shopping let us ask ourselves what will make us fulfilled let us find out if there is an end goal which we want to achieve through all this is there an end state that we want to reach and then we want the continuity of that state so that's the end state is our basic aspiration it's a process of assemble circumstances which make a person feel happy now to explore further we can start asking ourselves the following questions Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be prosperous? Do you want the continuity of happiness and prosperity? So the answers are in affirmative S. Right? We have a natural acceptance to be happy all the time. We have a natural acceptance to be always prosperous. So the basic human aspirations are happiness, prosperity and its continuity. basic requirements for fulfillment of human aspirations now let us start asking ourselves the following questions are we happy are we prosperous is there continuity of the two what answer do you get is it an affirmative yes as far as the basic requirement or desire is concerned this very much an affirmative s but when it comes to our state of being it's not always so affirmative isn't it there is quite a gap between our basic aspiration and our state of being and that is not naturally acceptable to us is it now let us continue the exploration further let us find out if our effort is for continuity of happiness and prosperity or just for accumulation of physical facility when we reflect on all the effort we are making we can easily see that we are generally working for accumulation of physical facility we are expecting happiness and prosperity but the effort is for physical things we don't even find out if we have enough physical facility or not will it actually ensure happiness and prosperity or not but we go on accumulating more and more we are making this effort with the assumption that we will get happiness and prosperity out of the physical things we can explore further by asking ourselves what effort are we making for continuity of happiness and prosperity other than accumulation of physical facility if we have not assumed that physical facility is all that is required then what else are we doing apart from that this is something we need to explore in our own life where are we putting in our effort we spend time in eating sleeping developing skills 
working, watching TV and so on. We are putting in most of our effort for physical facility. This may be because most of the time we have been trained to study for it, work for it and achieve it as much as possible. With all that effort, even if we are missing on account of happiness, we tend to keep working harder and harder for more and more physical facility. If continuity of happiness and prosperity is not achieved by just accumulating physical facility, then what else is essential to do? Let us start asking questions to ourselves. Is the unhappiness in my family more due to lack of physical facility or more due to lack of fulfillment in relationship? Whenever there is an unhappiness in your family, what is the major reason for it? When you explore into it, you will find that the major reason for the unhappiness in the family is the lack of fulfillment in relationship. Don't, ju uh, don't just accept this conclusion, but check it yourself. Now to look at the investment of your effort, find out how much time and effort you are investing for physical facility, how much time and effort you are investing for fulfillment in relationship. Eating, sleeping, working, studying and so on are all related to physical facility. You can find out for yourself how your time is being spent. Generally, most of the time and effort is being invested for physical facility, assuming that Everything is going to be fine when there is enough physical facility. Then there will be no problem. There will be no unhappiness in my family. In the meanwhile, if any issue of relationship has cropped up, we try to invest some time to patch it up or somehow manage it. Many times we again invest physical facility to compensate for the dissatisfactions or complaints in relationship. If you are not able to give time to the family in day to day life, we then try to spend time with them on weekends, on dining out, by watching movies together or giving some gift and so on. For human being, physical facility is necessary, but relationship is also necessary. In fact, by saying this, we can understand the difference between animals and human beings. Physical facility is necessary for animals as well as for human beings. For animals, it is necessary as well as adequate. But when it comes to human beings, that is not the case. Physical facility is necessary, but physical facility alone is not going to suffice for the fulfillment of human being. For an example, when an animal has lack of physical facility, it becomes uncomfortable. So when a cow gets a stomach full of grass, it becomes comfortable, sits and chews the cud. With enough grass to fill the stomach, the cow is comfortable. When it comes to human being, Lack of physical facility makes him or her uncomfortable and unhappy. But availability of physical facility alone does not ensure the feeling of happiness or prosperity. Imagine being in a 5-star hotel for a month with every physical facility, except that you have no one to talk to. While we do have a natural acceptance to live in relationship, are we actually living in relationship? Have we understood this or just assumed it? To explore this further, find out if you want to live in relationship with others or you want to live in opposition with others. You believe living has to be necessarily in opposition with others. That is, there is a struggle for survival, survival of the fittest and if you feel happy living this way. A little introspection will show that out of these three, what is naturally acceptable is the first one, is it it? You certainly do not want to live in opposition with others. But you may be conditional to think in a manner as mentioned in the third option. Because this is mostly what we are teaching today in the schools and colleges. Relationship is naturally acceptable to us, but what we are trying to teach the children is opposition and struggle. If we adopt the third option, it has significant negative implications in our life, in the family and in the society. And we can see this all around today. In relationship, what is generally happening today is something like this. Every time when there is a fight, we want to resolve it. We start the next day with the thought that we don't want to fight today. But a fight takes place again, sometimes by the end of the same day. Does this happen with you? Your brother, sister, father, mother, spouse, children, with your friends, 
co-workers, etc. Getting irritated, angry, not speaking for days on end, dragging each other to court, divorces, etc. are indicators of the situation in relationship. While there is a willingness to live in relationship, the right understanding about relationship is lacking. The competence to fulfill the relationship is lacking. That is why this fight and all this other problems in relationship happen again and again. We think it is the fault of the other person. We want them to improve. They think it's our fault and they want us to improve. Neither improves and we somehow try to manage relationship. For ensuring fulfillment in relationship, it is necessary to have right understanding about relationship. Right understanding is also necessary to, in order to correctly assess our need for physical facility. These are the following references. Thank you.